having courageous conversations on racial justice. Hi, I'm Katherine Shade, Senior Program Manager with the National Conflict Resolution Center. In a time when many of us in community-oriented roles are hearing and thinking about issues of race and racial justice, what does it look like to have meaningful, productive conversations within our organizations and within our communities about topics that can be challenging and charged? How can we invite bravery and also hold space for differing perspectives when we have our own fears or discomforts on different difficult topics? How do we move from a place of fear into a place of courage and conviction and invite others to do the same? Using elements from a restorative community circle, you can have more inclusive conversations on topics of racial justice, whether it's at work, around the dinner table, on your social media platforms, or at the grocery store. Let's explore some of the elements of a restorative community circle and how these elements will help you to build your skills for respectful dialogue around difficult topics such as racial justice. One of the first things you want to do when having a conversation with someone with whom you may disagree is to build rapport. Rapport is the ability to enter someone else's world to make them feel you understand them and that you have some commonalities that bond you even though you may disagree. Building rapport is a skill that is useful in any context but is essential for respectful, productive conversations. There are four steps to having more respectful and courageous dialogue. First, find common ground. Try your best to find something you have in common. A good way to do this is to ask open-ended questions and to actively listen for commonalities. It's important to be sincere in this process and find something you can bond over. It's helpful to show genuine interest in the person's life, hobbies, or their interests. When it comes to race, just know that everyone has had a different life experience with their own racial and ethnic identity. We never want to minimize others' experiences or our differences by saying we understand completely what others have gone through. We can, however, find things that we both care about and connect on a human level so that we have a foundation from which to navigate our differences. Next, you want to be empathetic. Really try your best to place yourself in that person's shoes and see things from their perspective. This helps you to connect with a person on their level. As the listener, it will help if you have authentic reactions and responses to further build your connection with the speaker. Remember, in conversations about racial justice, this may not be about you. Sometimes the most important role you play in the conversation is to listen with an open heart. For example, even though you may not have specifically experienced racism, that doesn't mean racism doesn't exist. You can't decide for other people whether or not racism has gotten better. A second example is too many people talk about racism as a system that exists outside of themselves personally. Understand that it is a system of which you are a part. Your actions and inactions do matter. The third step to having respectful and courageous dialogue is to use mirroring. Mirroring is adjusting your body language to match that of the person talking to you. You can also mirror their tone of voice, their volume, and their speech patterns. It's important to not match everything that the person is doing, but instead just make them feel comfortable. However, remember that topics of racial justice, justice can elicit all kinds of uncomfortable emotions. So if the other person's body language shows that they are closed off, 
nervous or aggressive, sometimes demonstrating relaxed and open body language will help them to subconsciously mirror your gestures and relax into the conversation. A final step is good communication. Please keep in mind the basics of good communication. This is going to be things like using their names in conversations, looking the person in the eye, smiling, asking open-ended questions, having open body language and facing them, and being curious and sincere. These are all helpful in building the connection that can lead you bravely down the path to courageous and meaningful dialogue.